What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle and today what we are talking about is a really cool one that I learned from another teacher this week. We're taking these numbers one through nine and we're dividing them up into three groups of three, right? So three groups of three numbers each and the key is that we want each group to have the same sum. For example, I could break these up as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But the problem is they wouldn't have the same sum, right? This would have a sum of six. This would have a sum of 15. And this one would have a sum of 24. So the key is we want to break it up into groups where the sum of the three numbers in each group is identical. That's the key. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So where do we begin with a problem like this? Of course, you can tr start with trial and error, and that, that's not a terrible place to start. But I would say that your best bet is to first figure out what is that total that all these have to equal. Now, since it's all the same, the interesting piece is, well, if I know the total of all nine of these numbers, it's safe to say that the total of each group must be a third of that or that divided by three. So that's a really great place to start. So we can add these guys up. One, here I'll sort of do it in groups of three. One plus two plus three is six, like we did before. Four plus five plus six is 15. And seven plus eight plus nine is of course 24. So if we add them up like this, we get six plus 24 is 30 plus 15 equals 45, right? So now we know that the total equals 45. Well, what do each, what does, what's the sum of each group? It must be 45 divided by three, which of course is 15. So now we've got a, a, a nice goal that all of these have to add up to 15. And now let's figure out how to do that. For example, if I look at this seven, right? I know the seven is not gonna be with the eight or nine cause that's gonna be just way too big. So I could start, let's say with a seven, we got a five. And then seven plus five is 12. What do we need to take it to 15? We can throw in that three. All right, so far so good. So we got one nice group. Now let's try another. And I'm gonna cross these off as we go. Three, five, and seven. Next, we can go <clears throat> nine, two, that gives me 11. And then that remaining four, right? Nine, two, and four. And that adds us up to 13 and 15. Boom, done. Last but not least, let's take the remaining numbers one, six, and eight, right? One, six, and eight. And these guys as well add up to one plus six is seven plus eight is 15. Now just bear in mind that this is one of multiple possible solutions. There's different ways to arrange these numbers so that you get a nice clean sum of 15 for every group. But this is the way that I did it and I hope that it made sense. If you like this video, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more from the Math Puzzle channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.